So if I ever said I'm sorry, yo, well, fuck it, I take it back. I'm never missing nothing, cause there's something you fucking like. If you're not announcing power, man, I'm sorry, you're fucking right. It's nice that you should try, but now you're nothing but dining mac. If I ever said I'm sorry, yo, well, Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of the Danny Mac Show, and I am the Miggity Miggity Mac, back with another episode of Road to Ruin. And there's been a bit of an update from Virginia Roberts Guthrie about the Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell procedures that are going on. Um, it says here, a woman who says she is brought to Britain age 17 to have sex with Prince Andrew has said she sh- he should be panicking following the arrest of Ghislaine Maxwell. Virginia Roberts, one of the convicted sex offenders and of Jeffrey Epstein's accusers what a great way to word it guys pat yourself on the fucking back for writing this says the tra- the tra- she was trafficked to London by Epstein in 2001 she spoke to Australia's Channel 9 60 Minutes program following the arrest of Epstein's former girlfriend Ghislaine Maxwell who was arrested on charges of helping Epstein's sexual exploitation of girls and young women and also pre-jury so basically she's perjured herself as well somewhere along the lines maybe in the last trial I'm not too familiar with that because that all got swept under the rug but apparently character witness or some something along them lines was the guy that um runs linkedin website so apparently he helped him get off so like he's accountable as well there's so many like little little rabbit holes in this story that like it just spins my head out a lot of the time like i don't really want to be going down a rabbit hole for the pedophiles and fucking famous people do you know what i mean like imagine the dreams and nightmares you'll be having after fucking going through that kind of crazy shit but i don't know man like this girl seems genuine but she seems to think that he that Ghislaine Maxwell's gonna grass up Prince Andrew. Now, them motherfuckers have been friends since they were, like, teenagers. There's gonna be no grassing up, man. There's definitely gonna be no grassing up. She's at, like, if she grasses people up, she'll be grassing up Will Smith and people like that. Fucking Clinton and all them all them other dudes. She ain't gonna be, like, dobbing in one of her closest friends. Just say, like, I was in trouble and I know one of my best friends wouldn't fucking stitch me up, so why would one of her best friends it doesn't make much sense but um anyway guys i'm gonna end it there because well there's there's more i could talk about but we'll save that for another video maybe because um we gotta see how this unfolds more than more than anything else because we need these but we need some justice here but i can't see them ever getting their hands on a fucking prince of england come on now think logically mi6 mi5 like they're the, they're his boys I don't know, man. But like, if Ghislaine Maxwell was to grass on him, she'd have a whole world of fuckery coming after her. So I don't, I can't see that ever happening. Anyway, guys, um, I guess I'm gonna end it there. So much love and keep. Well, let me know what you think in the comments as well. Like what what you think's happening and what you think's gonna happen. Cause um, I'm always interested to find out what you motherfuckers think. Yeah, I'll leave it there. Much love and keep having a nice day. So if I ever said I'm sorry, yo, well, fuck it, I take it back. I'm never missing nothing, cause there's something you fucking like. If you're not announcing power, man, I'm sorry, you're fucking right. It's nice to you should try, but now you're nothing but dining mac. If I ever said I'm sorry, yo, well, fuck it, I take it back. I'm never missing nothing.